cold, snow, and full moon. Time to change appearance. This time I will dress in white. I will use polyurethane paint to get the proper beige paint and hardener I mark a stick with 2 and 6 cm. The containers are opened although the hardener confuses me a bit. First after trying to get out the hardener and the failing I notice how it is supposed to be opened. I use vinyl gloves here as uh, polyurethane gloves might be more dissolvable in the paint. I pour the larger part, the paint, into the smaller part, the hardener, as this gives a better mixing. Compare with mixing milk in coffee or coffee in milk, you get a different result. I start in the back end. Here I have not figured out that the paint will get thicker during the painting process. On uh, vertical surfaces it will uh, not stay in place well. It is a bit hard to get uh, good coverage. Especially as the paint is getting really thick here. The cross beams get painted as well. I wipe the beam with a sticky cloth before painting. The day after I can continue on the another side. I try to get the surface as horizontal as possible. A pair of Wellingtons get in handy. More paint is needed. This time I have learned the tricks. I even use a uh, thinner as soon as the paint gets thicker.
Now the paint flows better. As the paint dries quickly, I paint wet in wet, small areas at a time. Still, one cover of paint will not cover all. On the end part, I paint along the edge to reduce uh, droplets. The cross beams and the side beams get painted as well. Now I turn to the next sides. On flat areas, the result gets better. The rudder blades needs also paint. And the other side of the side beams. To get a better surface finish I uh, need to sand parts where the paint has uh, formed droplets. On the water exposed sides smoothness is more important. So I take more care on these surfaces. Before moving into the garage, I remove the dust. Back in the garage, I leverage the surface horizontal. Then I can put on a second coat of paint.
also on the cross beams. the blades. The surfaces does not get uh, totally smooth, but good enough. Spray painting would have been better. I change gloves often to limit exposure from migration of the solvent. During the drying, one holds uh, falls off the temporary support and uh, into the cement uh, floor, but not the scratch. And I can continue with the next coat. Now I'm finished, all dressed in white.